Hello, my beautiful Virgos. So, Teresa was going to do uh, the spreads. She's having technical difficulties. So, um, I'm going to be doing this, this spread this week. So, um, Teresa will be doing the next set. I just want you guys to understand that, okay? All right, my gorgeous ones. The question is, should they be trusted? We have all these people trying to come back in our life, and this is not everybody, but this is... These, this is for those people and those individuals that have these people leaving and then coming back. And then um, those of you that all of a sudden somebody shows up. Wow. Like, wh what's going on? What, why is this person back in my life? Right? So, my gorgeous ones, for that reason, I made this spread with spirit. So, in the first position, what I've said is, what is their intention? What is this person's intention? For you Virgos, you have the world. So, listen, I'm telling you from the bigger picture that I'm seeing, I'm seeing that this this person sort of means business. And again, this is a general reading. So, <clears throat> yeah, if you've never seen me before, my name is Cindy. I'm a psychic, medium, spiritual advisor, hypnotherapist, holistic life coach. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so I'm seeing the world as their intention. Now, for some of you, <laughs> wow, this, this person's pretty, this, let me just say, for some of you, this person not only deceives you and other people around them, but they deceive themselves. They're not being truthful with themselves for some of you, but for others of you. So let me see, tell you what I see in the world. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. Sorry. So I see that for some of you, this guy means business. He's ready to come back or she's ready to come back because I see both. He or she is ready to come back and undo, try to undo those things that they did to you. Uh, they've realized where they've been. They realize, <clears throat> sorry, they realize that life without you is unfinished. And for some of you, they realize that the potential is big with you so they can not only yeah be big with themselves but be big in this relationship they want to explore this again for others of you i feel like this person is very um, egotistical uh, all about themselves and i do feel like they feel It's all about pacifying their need so I feel like they are like I want to uh, you know this person was good to me this they're talking about you Virgo this person's so good to me and um, you know I'm better with them than without them because I need to feel better because I need to be loved because now I'm telling you this because for some of you I don't feel like they're willing to put in the work I feel like they like the space that you give them Okay, so I wish I had better news. Um, we'll continue with the spread. So the second question I ask is, why is this person returning? So you have the world and the sun. He has, he or she has the world or the sun. Both, sorry, the world and the sun. So um, why is this person returning? For some of you, it is to work on, they want to, for some of you, I feel like, because I'm talking to two different sets. For some of you, I feel like they're wanting to undo what they've done. They're trying to make it better. Um, and they, they're they coming to make you better, to, to fix the situation. Yeah. For others of you, I feel like um, they want to be happier. They want to feel better. They don't like the way things ended. They uh, have sort of figured out that the way that you love them is the way they want to be loved but i don't feel like they want to do anything about it they just want to come to you and drain you again that's for some of you so but for others of you and you will know don't try to make it fit if it fits it fits if it doesn't resonate it doesn't okay so because i'm seeing two different sets <clears throat> Yeah, and because my throat is closing up, some of you are not seeing it clearly. Some of you are, but some of you are not. <clears throat> and 
And some of you are seeing it clearly and you're not doing what you really want to do about it. That's what I'm, that's what Spirit's saying. So in the third position is, should they be trusted? Isn't that the question? Should they be trusted? So um, you have the 10 of wands. It's very, very interesting. Some of you, the answer is no, they should not be trusted. It is going to be with a heavy heart that you move forward, but you need to move forward without them. Yeah, this is interesting because I see them seeing you, but not in like a home setting, not in a setting that's um, very comforting. It's in a more public setting. So it's not, it's like they don't want to be, hmm, how do I say this? I don't feel like they want to put you in their home. I want to, I feel like they just want to see you outside of the home that's what i feel okay now for others of you yep i feel like this person wants to come back they should be trusted but they're also waiting to see so they haven't made their mind up yet they're waiting to see how it works out because i still see you in a public setting with them like not in the private setting with them so um it is with a heavy heart that you have to move forward. And some of you, it is a no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in your um, fourth position, the question I'm asking is, um, what is the advice from your higher self? Okay. The advice from your higher self is the nine of swords. So for some of you, I feel like they're saying be very clear because the swords is all about cutting them off, cutting them off, cutting them out, okay? They're saying don't look at the beauty, don't just look at the beauty in the mirror. See it for what it is. See them for who they are and you will know because for some of you, it is to cut them off. For others of you, it's a very few others of you that I'm seeing that should wait this out because this person really does want to change. Okay. Um, but they haven't made their decision about coming and staying. They've just made their decision about coming and seeing how it works out. Okay. So I hope that helps. That's from your higher self. Now, the fifth question that I'm asking is if they cannot be trusted and I take them back anyway, what is the outcome? And you have the queen of cups. Now, the Queen of Cups to me is very interesting for this outcome because it means that you will be able to bond with them. You will have that beautiful time with them, but it is an emotional state. It is not a grounding state. It is not the physical state, okay? A Pentacles would have been a physical state. A Pentacles would have told me that they wanted to stay or the outcome was that they stayed. I feel like they will help you grow emotionally um, if you take them back, but I don't feel like um, the outcome will be any different than it had before, okay? Which is what happened the last time. They caused you to grow emotionally. You were, you were better equipped emotionally. Um, <clears throat> for others of you, no, that's it. That's all I see. I just see that emotionally you'll be bonded. I see that emotionally they'll help you grow. I see that you'll be able to navigate within your feelings more and your emotions more, but I don't see this as a very stable relationship. And I know you have the world and I know you have the sun and this person may have good intentions, but they haven't made their decision all the way. They're just sort of feeling you out. They're feeling you out, okay? And your higher self wants you to really not just look in the mirror, not just look in, I'm sorry, not just look at the reflection, but look at the real situation that's going on. Okay. I hope this helped. Um, I love you, love you, love you. I'm sending you lots of love and light. <clears throat> if you like what you see, please press that button, share it with your family and friends so they can get their message and subscribe to my channel, Your Indigo Path, so you receive notices of my new releases and comment down below, below and let me know if you like this spread. Bye.